Hi. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Fang. I'm Morty. And I'm Sherry, or Milk Tea. So today we'll be revealing the uh, quarter three New York PR. This is the first time we've ever done like a format of this, uh, I guess, format of this format. Yeah. Um, so we're all pretty awkward and nervous yeah. right now. But yeah. <laughs> More than the image. <laughs> So yeah, we're ready. So we're going to be doing this PR in order of, uh, oh. What order? We should just what? get the order. Okay. All right, we're just going to start with number one. Let's All right. Number one. All right, so here we go. And it's... So I'm super surprised by this one, honestly. Big, um, big rise yeah. up. I, know? Really, I really didn't think this person was going to be picked as for the PR one. as number one. Yeah, it's like a really big surprise. <laughs> Are you going to reveal the image? <laughs> there we go. Ta -da! It's the buzz. So we got it's the, the buzz. buzz. <laughs> Uh, to the surprise of no one, DeBuzz had another bombastic season where he snagged wins on Tweak, Mars, Nairo, Meister, Wadi, Cosmos, Elegant, MVD, Yeti, Fatality, <laughs> You're going to read all of this? Not all of them. I mean, he's Captain Zach. Like, the, the PGR wins really just speak for themselves. And, like, he shows, like, such dominant consistently. Like, there's a clear gap between him and the rest of the PR, basically. Yeah, basically every season we go for... Let's see if someone's even close to the buzz. <laughs> and then we check. And, and we look like, at it for about five seconds. And we go, yeah, nope. the buzz is number one. <laughs> it's a big shock. So, yeah. What, how, I guess what you go into thinking about designing the image. By the way, all the, all the PR images were designed by uh, Sherry. So, big, big thanks to her for doing this. Because this is like, this is probably like, probably one of my favorite like PR Yeah, I really like the theme. Really? I like mm -hmm. all the art. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, Shockingly, DeBuzz is number one. <laughs> um, I actually went through like so many designs for DeBuzz, but ended up with this one because he just looked happier, well, better <laughs> than like the other one. Um, I gave him Yeezys, if you can see it. Oh my god, you actually <laughs> gave him Yeezys? I actually like, I never understood the Yeezys the Buzz joke, but I was like, you know what, it seems kind of popular, so let me just add it. He just, he wanted, he wanted a, a little more drip coming into tournaments, so he's like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ball out and just yeah. cop a pair of Yeezys, bro, and then I'm just gonna wear them. Honestly, his style's been, I'm, I'm a little jelly, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. You see the Pikmin carrying the Buzz to number first, you know? Number first, number one. Number first. Yeah, number <laughs> first. Can you tell I'm nervous? <laughs> All right, though. So, yeah, going going down. Now we have number 15. Number 15. On the PR. <laughs> Let's get it. So I know this is probably going to be the most controversial position here because there are so many deserving players for number 15. However, we've got House of 3000's very no, own No, but here's Ralphie. the thing. People don't know who's, like, number 14 Who is like, yet, who's yeah, number 13. They won't be outraged that's yet. That's true. That's <laughs> true. So yeah, WAF finally making the PR. Definitely someone who has been heavily slept on coming into Ultimate. Uh, he struggled a little bit at the beginning, but finally managed to nail himself. He was back on the grind this summer. He was on everything, dude. He was, he was pushing it. out. He was getting some wins too. Yeah, we want to read off some of those wins. So that he he's got. got wins on out of region. He's got ZD, Ling Ling, Phantom, Resimer, Z, Crazy Shroom. He's from he's Canada? from Switzerland. Switzerland. He's PR in Switzerland. He's like number eight in Switzerland. And see, I haven't been around, but he's been top eighting Zenos a lot now, right? He yeah. Just got the last few. Yeah, he's been doing a good job lately. Um, and going into like Tri State, just out of New York, he's got wins like Jackal, Six WX. Unknown, are hungry. A lot of Jersey wins and ADHD. Who does? I haven't seen him around. I haven't he seen plays, him around, but he's still he plays Inkling, but he's like Inkling still now. hella solid. Uh, and in New York, especially, he was fun fact. He was one of the only people to like cop a win on Venia that wasn't like on the upper side of the PR. I guess like yeah, Venia is dominant when it comes to just being at Zeno, being yeah. in New York. He's, he's hella consistent. So even having just one win is an ability that most of the people, most of the people even on the PR didn't have that. Yeah, he also managed to have a positive record on uh, Numbers and Ray, which is pretty good because I know both of them have been doing, you know, pretty well so far. And uh, yeah, you want to go into, I guess, the nuances of the, the graphic? Sure. Um, first off, congrats, Ralphie. Um, I Facts. remember drawing a Squirtle fan sign for you, so I just kind of took that as inspiration. Um, Dill found the random blonde streak of hair hilarious on it. <laughs> Wait, where is it? It's right. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> um, He's junk cook, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the signature uh, Ralphie AirPods. And of course, the Shit. PR graphic has to have Tim's on it. So there's the Tim's on Ralphie. Kid who wears boots in literally every weather. It was like 70 the other week. Boots, dude. And I was hanging out with Ralph, and he was wearing boots. Like, he was wearing boots and, like, a sort of, like, bro, I get you're trying to drip, but, like, you're going to sweat your <laughs> ass off. <laughs> Suffer for the look. Yeah, exactly. Literally. Oh, right. Sorry, we 
we only added two out of the six million characters you used, but like, <laughs> we tried. Did what we could. And as Cloud notably is a Peach Slayer, he beat, uh, he's beaten Player 4, Ling Ling, and Jack all with that Cloud. So like, you know, but he, he's been reclaiming a little bit of his former Smash 4 glory, and of course the Wolf is there. Recently switching to PT, his, his most notable wins this season were with Pokemon Trainer. Like, his win on ZD, he like, he molly whopped him a glitch. Like, it wasn't even close. Squirtle, man. All right. So, yeah, moving up the list now, we've got uh, number 14. Number 14. Here we go. Is it correct? Is it this way? Number 14? Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I forgot who number 14, 14 was. Number 14 is... <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. It is right. You told okay, okay. you told me yeah. right. Yeah, so this man seeing a little bit of a fall as you got that minus four there. Um, he has been using a lot more banjo this season, but luckily his pally was able to come through in matchups where he was struggling with it. Um, he managed to nail wins on Phantom, Ian, Steelix, Crazy Shroom, Opana Wall, and Cold. So a lot of very in region. And a lot of people are wondering this might be not the strongest out of region um, wins, but he's honestly got a few impressive. Uh, Having uh, you want to go over the uh, yeah. in region wins? I guess. Well, in region he's got Pasta, two Maverick Hunter, and Roxas, and they were just both on the, the New Jersey one that came out yesterday, right? Yeah. And he's also yeah, got actually. here's a big one. He's positive on Jen, who is obviously, as you know, spoilers. He's somewhere on the PR guys. <laughs> <laughs> so having that positive on Suarez, positive on Sinji, has 14 sets with Dill. <laughs> Bombs, baby. So. <laughs> bombs. Come and just bombs, dominant people. records against a lot of people who are kind of in that like top 20 in New York zone. So Ray still maybe not as good as you were expecting him, but he hasn't been around as much. I haven't seen him as much. He's been playing banjo. The fact so that yeah, the fact that he was able still to like, on still nail with like a new character is like ridiculous. Like banjo is pretty fresh, and the fact that he's still able to PR with, using primarily banjo, like his palette was able to nail him like the notable wins. Well, but he pulls her out when he's getting serious. Yeah, he can still say yeah. it. All right, and I guess you want to say a little bit about the graphic? It's Utopian Ray. I try to <laughs> capture him as best as I could. I, I love it. I think it looks like him. He got the facial hair <laughs> perfectly. I saw he has like full on. He's, he's got, got a goatee. Got a goatee and everything he's now. He's like a painter. All right, yeah. yeah. So let's, uh, I guess, move on to number 13. Da, 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 13. Da, da, is, did 13 we order it? Is yeah, I, I know. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Kofi. Kofi! Yeah, there we go. Re returning to the PR after one season off. Uh, managed to recapture his uh, former glory with, with the bird himself, the crow, as I like to call it. Uh, he managed to knock on some wins like uh, Ridier from Florida and Dingus Joe from MDVA. Those were both, I believe, at Glitch. So, you know, he, he's been traveling a little bit more, but wasn't able to snag. But his, in, his I guess, in Tri-State record was also really good, too, right? The prizes are the Jersey wins, really. Or not Jersey, it's like... Well, uh, Jersey and Philly, he has a win on both Wishes and Juice, and Juice is number one in Philly right now, and which is, of course, PGR talent, top 25, fifth in New Jersey, I think. My man, fought, my man went to yeah. Forge and, and put on the overalls and started just farming the hell out of everyone. He also has a win on Allen and a win on Suarez, as well as being positive on both Ray and Frozen. So, like... He, he just played super solid this season and managed to he just, get himself yeah. back on the PR. When, it looks like he doesn't have that much data, but when he was around, he got the wins. He was showing up. Like, the records aren't bad. He shows off as a strong competitor when he does show up to events. I got to say, this probably is my favorite, like, portrayal of the character. Like, you did. Oh, the Falco you, is so good. Everything. The angle. Out, Marco, how Falco. I, yo, Falco is actually, like, non-human characters are some of the hardest characters to draw for me. So when I saw how Falco came out to, for me, I was kind of impressed. I was Shinkley. like, darn, I kind of did something decent with um, Falco. I like the fit. Yeah. Falco's got probably some of the most drip out of all, oh, the, yeah, all the characters in the game. <laughs> like, every one of his amazing. jackets I'd probably cop, honestly. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so that's all, all to really say about Kofi. You know, really, performed really solid this season. I think the Wishes win definitely, like, was the... Big. That the, was stronger than what a lot of the people in win. that range had. That was, like, one of the best you could pull out. Yeah, so uh, I guess moving on to number 12. Da, 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 right da, da, about da, 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 Devin killing it with these transitions, by the right. way. Right. Yeah, you go. All right, here we go. <laughs> So. Okay, 12 is Stock Taker. <laughs> song. <laughs> Says yeah. Wolf, but we get the banjo music. Yeah, this, this man busts. So the reason the banjo music is out here is because one of his best wins, and he won an entire tournament with this character. He played banjo and beat Venia with a... He also has, like, 
deep pockets. Like my man has Palu, I, I played against the Wii Fit, Banjo, Wii Fit, um, like Villager. I, I, like I out of region, he did pretty well. He has windows on Anti, Venom, and Bully, who is number four in North Carolina. Uh, he went to, I believe, the the first two wins are from Defend the North, and then the last one was from Glitch. So yeah, you want to go over against the rest of the in-state? Yeah, in he's got um in tri-state, he's got a decent amount of like outside of Juice, solid wins, but not like top top level. He's got like Yodicade, Biddy, Beast, Ram, and where it really starts to suffer is his records against a lot of the higher level players. Like he doesn't have a win on. Alan, he doesn't have a win on Eric, he doesn't have a win on Sinji, and stuff like that hurts when you're not beating that top echelon of players that can really harm you like going forward and trying yeah. to push for those higher ranks. De definitely had a little bit of a drop in comparison last season, but he was still able to perform solidly enough to get on. I believe this is his third season consecutively. Yeah, yeah. I think of him as like a PR mainstay now. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, he, he's definitely been cementing it. I, I love this graphic. He's yeah. holding it like a wanted poster. Yeah, like. yeah, that was the goal. I had so much trouble <laughs> drawing um Is Stone he a Saker. bounty hunter? What is he? He's like a villain, right? Well, yeah. it's a bounty hunter. Yeah. He's a mercenary for hire. Yeah, okay. So, so he's like, I need this man's head right now. <laughs> um, what's it called? I asked Dill for like so many bods of Stock Taker because I literally could not remember how he looked like. <laughs> and I drew him like over and over You again. nailed it. It's really, really good. I, so? I love the oh, back body, right. the facial hair, the glasses, the very like... It fits concerned, Jared. Very concerned stoner look on his face. Oh <laughs> Dill was like, if you're going to make someone have a very bored look, it has to be something. Yeah, definitely. Like, He's got okay. a very, like, unamused, very bored. I like it. You know, like, the personality of the players and, like, their characters as well is, like, really shining for these graphics. I, 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 I can't praise you enough for how oh, well you did with this. This is so good. <laughs> All right, though, moving on to... Number, Number 11. 11. I'm so excited. Here we go. Uh, Morty is Zamba. Zamba does, in fact, make the PR after clawing at China. Spider Dance? What? He plays this Sans. This isn't even a he's, Smash. He's won a Smash Island with Sans. <laughs> him and, you know, him and Jake played some Stans hero. This man has so. tried to get on the PR for like two seasons already and just misses it barely, but hit him just consistently going to Jersey and farming the hell out he's of them. He's a Jersey really awesome. Slayer. He's a dude. Jersey Slayer, dude. He every time. He's always top eighting at Spectrum, like every time he goes basic. Or not every time, but like even like when he goes, he'll mess around. Like I've seen he went K rule yeah. one time and still pulled ninth. <laughs> the so. the, what does it call it? The big black croc or whatever. That's what he he wants deals whatever. <laughs> so out of region, he got Smock and Flagtail. He got Smock at Spectrum when they came for DTN. Oh, really? Okay. I know that. I don't know where he got the Flagtail when. Probably at Zeno. I know Flagtail had a brief stay in uh, the tri-state area. He's from Argentina, by the way. He's a PR player from Argentina. And his, his in-region, he's got wins on Rivers, Great Gonzalez, Jackal, Haven, Corona 17, Beast Unknown, Jack, Ram, and Lemon T. And those are all, like, incredibly solid jersey wins, like... Especially the Rivers and Gons win. Like, beating two PGR players in one season is, like, no easy beat. Especially from Jersey, who I consider to be, like, the best state in all of Smash right now. His in-region's not the greatest overall. He I, just, he's not around. Yeah, like, he's he can't not. come. He's a, he's a he's kid. A kid. We he's can't like, bring like him like to Zeno. It's 12. tough. Like, yeah, he's young. So. Gotta ask parents permission. I mean, he's got wins on the few people <laughs> that, like, he did get to play. Like, he's got wins on Ralphie's, 2-1 on Ralphie. He's got a set on Stock. He's 2-2 two -two with Dill. I think those are at Waypoint. So. Dill, Dill is, like, also a very hard win to come by, I feel like. So, yeah. And, uh, I guess going to the ground. This song slaps. <laughs> oh, it's like, I this didn't realize slap. how good music. this song is until I'm, like, hearing it right here. It's really good. Um, well, I really wanted to draw Link, honestly, because I really wanted a Link. I like drawing <laughs> Link. Um, but then, like, I never know what character Zomba uses, so then I had to, like, ask around, and then I just decided for Rob, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he means Rob. He plays everything. Yeah. So. yeah. Link or Roy, honestly, would have been, like, sick. But, yeah, the Rob the Rob was the one he where... He would get mad if I didn't put Roy yeah, on this. Yeah, that's true. So... <laughs> There we go. All right. So, yeah. Unfortunately, to end the slapper, we have to move on to number 10. And I'm sorry, guys. We have another Rob on the PR one after that. We got Dill. And for those of you in chat asking, why is Dill so high this season? Uh, it's Dill not told even me. That high. He's minus five. Any, anybody who is questioning Dill's placement on the PR money match him is what he told me yeah. to say to everybody. What is this song? <laughs> Yo, Proton, what's this, this is song? A banger. This is, is this from Desert. Rhythm Heaven? This is Gobi's Valley from Banjo Kazooie. As banjo Kazooie. Well. Yeah, yeah, okay, banjo yeah okay, got it. Why didn't Dill play banjo at all? I guess he didn't like the play style of banjo or whatever. But yeah, Dill, 
back on the PR once again. Uh, try, basically the City Slayer. He goes to like every City tournament. He's got wins on Nelvin, Fwed, 3XA, Logic, and Crazy Shroom. It's like out of region, not too crazy. Yeah, I know I Dill didn't travel after, too much this like, season. One or two more spots, the outer regions really start to ramp up. Yeah, for so, sure. But Dill in I'll region, <laughs> Dill in region <laughs> is a slayer of oh my basically God, everyone but the very top. Yeah. I'm looking at tough records: 6-0 on Ralphie, nine sets on Ray, 3-0 on Jewel, 2-1 on Nick. He's really against everyone that you don't think of. That is like. Oh, they're walking in and they're winning Zeno. Yeah. Chances are Dill has a positive record on them. When he claps someone, he like really claps someone. And he still snagged a few wins on the, the upper echelon as well. Like win on Mr. E, 2 1 on Nick C, win on Sinji. Two, two Benio wins, which is like, that's, that's money. That's money. My personal favorite, though, is I think the most sets anyone's played in, in the season. Uh, Dill and Numbers have played a grand total of 24 <laughs> sets this season. <laughs> Every, and they are 12-12. I can't oh. even imagine how much time all those sets took. Also, overall, like combined. Yeah, like, it's like, think about that. That's days. two sets a week, dude. <laughs> all right, yeah, going into the graphic, though. We got very sassy Rob yeah. out here. Um, actually, Dill recommended this pose because that's the special flag. You know, the, yeah, that the, one, the one that gets you the extra stock, right? Yeah. yeah, so that was that pose. And I had to draw, I mean, color Dill's hair a couple times because I got his hair color wrong so many times. It's very beautiful and luscious. And a little fun <laughs> fact, Dill specifically said, make the Rob light bright for his a Rob and not for Zombas because he wants his to be fully charged but not Zombas. So like. <laughs> Gotta claim that Rob down. Because he's above him, bro. That's why. Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Dill at number 10. Um, and now we're breaking into the single digits now. Number nine. Number nine. Excited. And this one. You mean numbers, <laughs> nine. Num numbers <laughs> nine. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so Mr. Steve Letters finally nailing himself a spot in the NYPR. He picked up Wii Fit this season, I believe. I know. I'm so excited for it. Yeah. I think he should have been playing Wii Fit since the game Seriously, like, first came busted. out. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, the nailing, Wii Fit dream. nailing wins on uh, Blank from Connecticut, two on Daybreak, and a win on Crazy Shroom. So again, out of region, not the best, but... I think his in region is what really carried him through this uh, this PR season as well. He had better, he had slightly better in like against Jersey than Dill did because they're pretty comparable. Yeah. Like numbers pretty dominant against that top twenty level in New York too. But he also snagged wins on Jackal, Adamus, Graham, and Alfie. And Alfie's Mateo now. I Mateo, believe. yeah, yeah. Alfie's Mateo now. So he's also a Jersey PR player as well. And he's got. The first person where you get to the higher end on the list and you don't see red because he's even with both Alan and Mr. E. So numbers get some wins. People were sleeping on him. I, w I thought he was going to be on. I had like when we were making it, I had no idea he was going to even come close uh, yeah, I to single digits. Literally, I was like, all right, we Sean is usually a candidate for the PR, but there's no way he'd probably be able to break more than the double digits. Yeah, I thought it was like 13, man went right? in this season. So he's also got nine wins on Ray. Ray. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? Hey, you're moving into the awesome graphic. I love this one especially. <laughs> um, I do weave it unnecessarily cute, which She's is adorable. not bad at all. But um, who is it that recognized it was a balance force? I did. Yeah. I knew it was yeah, a balance force. I didn't, I didn't yeah, see it. Thank you guys didn't know. I had to look further because there's divots in it. But yeah, it's a balance board. That's uh, his side. <laughs> I had to like add the divots. And, I yeah. mean, I had to add like the lines to make it look more like a balance board. Dill was like, why is there a floating scroll next to Leaf It? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Contact. You can tell it's a balance board. I love the numbers <laughs> drawing itself, too. I think it captures his, numbers it can, so yeah, well. Absolutely. His, go his goofy face and the hair. Like, definitely, like... I had Dara send photos to me, so like quick shout out to Dara Mgar. Yeah, that's my son. Right. The Ramgar. That's my boy. I love that kid. Um, yeah, his hair. I love the hair especially. <laughs> it's really good. But yeah, there you go. Number nine. He's also got a sword fighter still. Uh, it's coming out. Uh, he also played. Did he play Inkling at all this season? I feel like. I feel like I've seen him play Inkling. I haven't seen the Inkling. Not at all. I mean, if yeah. you play. Months. If you want that character to show up, you have to win with that character. Ah. Ah. One of those. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Alrighty, though. That's going to wrap it up for numbers, though. We're going to move into number numero ocho. <gasps> <laughs> Just, 
We got the man himself back on the the 40 chess player. Yeah. Third third day jewel coming in with his male and female Robin both represented yeah. on the PR. Because he plays both. He does. Really he'll beat you with one, and then he'll go. I'm feeling male Robin. <laughs> yeah, game. exactly. So, jewel is not actually that many out of state. Just Rango and F sharp. So, I mean, he was. F sharp's, I'd say, the better winner of those two. Like F sharp's pretty dominant, or not dominant, I but like pretty good. I haven't seen that much of either. I know Rango yeah. probably still plays Ike, right? Mm, maybe I think so. But man, this eight to ten spot is just like city killers, yeah. dude. Because Jewel has wins on the outer region, even not in New York. It's just Juice Christmas and five on Wraith. Yeah, five, got he, a lot of Wraith. I don't know where all those uh, are coming from. Those are coming from Kingdom. So Kingdom? he he is sponsored by the TO that runs Kingdom. Oh yeah. So, so third yeah, day, so right? Yeah. So he goes to those tournaments a lot. And I guess he farmed the hell out of Wraith. And we have the first win on the buzz out of out of the out of this PR, PR. so far. Yeah. And so the first the buzz win 3-0 on Mr. E, which is might wow. be like That's the worst record Eric has, right? That's cr yeah, probably. So that Nick swims on Sinji, Nick C, Venia. People play so many sets. Yeah, it, it's it's nuts how well he like he slammed the top echelon of yeah, players. Yeah, he's like he went in. Like, like to me, this is I don't want to go into like people are on the PR, <laughs> but everyone knows Venia's on the PR, right? Yeah. So like this reminds <laughs> me of like it's like a like the spread is like that of a weaker Venia, where I feel like sometimes the outer region just doesn't. You know, it doesn't show up, but when you look at like His how they're region, doing yeah. when like they're showing up every week, it's he insane. Killed it. he killed killing it. it. There you go. So we got Kawaii AF Robin. I love Robin. Through. Robin so is my favorite character to draw. I love the little pigtails. Um, it was adorable. So I had a uh, duel. <laughs> When I got offered to draw the PR graphic, Jewel was actually the first person I drew first. Really? I wasn't. I only knew who top five was, but I Jewel was like my favorite player. Sorry. <laughs> and um, I was like, okay, let me doodle Jewel real quick. And I drew Jewel a couple weeks or months back, where I used to draw players, and then I used that as a reference for his. And he, he looks adorable. He's so. got a little hair, like the hair and the hat, especially like. And you got the little. Yeah, he's so happy. Yeah, he's so happy. That's just Jewel's like <laughs> default. Personally, like, Jewel's always like a very positive guy. It was really great to see it. Yeah, it's like props to Sherry for really doing this one. This one's sick. All, all of them are like hella sick, honestly. I love the coat too. The detail on it is really nice. Thank you, thank you. All right, though, moving in to lucky number seven. Coming through. Who's gonna be? Of course, no PR in New York is complete without the bane of Long Island himself, Mr. John Suarez. You mean just Yoshi, right? It Yoshi, was yeah, one point, yeah. So. And uh, Suarez killed it, honestly, out of region this season. He has wins on Light, Sunito, DM, Matty G, Javi, Daybreak, and Pip, who is number one in Tennessee. So, like, he, like, he, he traveled a bunch. Like, this man has been Some killing strong Long Island, uh, not Long Island, strong New England names in there. This song's know? a bop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turns it up. <laughs> Yoshi intensifies. <laughs> Oh, so this is one where it's like the, the out of state definitely carry. Yeah, I the believe. out of state. This is where you see like the difference in like where people get the big wins versus just being good in region. Like I actually would say, I don't know. It's just he doesn't compete that much against the Kofi. city. Kofi, <laughs> wait, I made PR. <laughs> LOL. Congrats, congrats. It's just there's not like because like you're looking at the sets and it's like oh. Suarez is 0-1 against this person. And it's just... He didn't come to the city too Yeah, much. it's like they're 1-0s or 0-1s, so you have to kind of evaluate how far he can get pushed because of he, like, he has those quality of out-of-region wins. Like, where you compare him to everyone under him on the PR, the list of like the highest level of players, it, it's just like, White is the best win we probably yeah, come literally. outside of the, the buzz set. Like, it's a, top, just, a top 10 win aside from in-state, like, that's pretty rare yeah, for a lot of people in the NYPR. And Suarez and Light have a very long-winded rivalry where Light kind of pile drives him. No, nah, it's time always close. Play. And then it's like, always Suarez close, just loses. But the record is, is very in Light's favor. So, luckily, Suarez was able to snag one of them. Yeah, now we got the graphic. It's Yoshi. He's adorable. Like, you guys remember my first draft of this? No, oh. I don't. What was it? Oh, um, God. It was just flat oh, out. Okay, yeah, like I do remember that. No <laughs> Big nose, <laughs> and then it was like, this was kind of odd. Can you like rotate him 90 degrees? And like, I guess. I, uh, <laughs> well, like I, literally, faces I literally thought it looked like a man wearing a Yoshi suit. <laughs> 
I was like, we should keep this. Next, because next that's PR actually theme. Suarez in the Yoshi suit. <laughs> that would be, be actually amazing. <laughs> we should do people dressed up yeah, as next the characters for next year. Here we go. Oh my god, that'd be so funny. Um, and the. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brady Boy, for the sub. Ray doing his 90 degree dab. Replaces the numbers pop off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got Suarez's beard. It's full effect. I love it. My man. I remember when my man used to be clean shaven. That Is was that wild. What he looks like? I just use his Twitter. No, it's good. He, like the, the expression, too, is he's a, always a very jovial, very. Yeah, he's a very smi guy. Like, smiley yeah, guy. Yeah. Even when he's absolutely full of salt, he's still smiling. Like, <laughs> it's, which is really scary, but. Yeah, he's, this dude's always cheesing at all times. But yeah, that should, that should wrap it up for Suarez. And we're going on to. Six. Number six. Here we go. Drum roll. Who is it? Cancel bars. Oh. Cancel bars, bro. We <laughs> see the button. Got the the crackhead himself. Yeah, the Nick C coming in at number six. And he, my man traveled way more than he probably has. Yeah, like, see, like this is ever. the first time where like Nick's really high on the PR and yeah. it's like it really that out of region push because Nick never used to go to anything. He would no. just show up to Zeno every once in a while and be like, hey guys, I'm, I'm gonna pretty win. good. <laughs> He's got wins on Mute Ace, Louie Money, Riddles, Scat, Maki Boz, Petrino, Flagtail, and Andrew T, who is ranked number fourth in Ohio. So, and he he went to Shine, SmashCon. Like, he's been to a lot of stuff this yeah, season. Summer out of Smash, region. Yeah. he was really pushing. So, and out of region, like not, not uh, in region, he's also got Jackal, Blazing Pasta, Vince, Wraith, Beast, Roxas, which are, I think, was Vince on this PR for Jersey? He was on the last one. Vince, Vince was on the last one, yeah. He was on the last he one. He was the South Jersey rep for uh, last Jersey PR. The Zen region, like, it wasn't terrible. Like, the few times he did attend, well, he this still... Well, is, this is what looks like Nick went to, like, three Xenos. Yeah, literally. So. He snagged wins on Jen, a one win on Venia, a win on Dill, a win on Numbers, a win on Jewel, 2-0 on Ray, and, like, he, he just... After that point, it's just he didn't drop sets to people. Yeah, he didn't He didn't do bad, like, at all. Like, his, his losing records are only divided by one set. With Alan, it's, like, two sets, but, like... He, he did a really, really good job. Like, this is the part of the PR where it starts to get really tough because the gap closes so much more, and it, it becomes harder to determine, like, who did better than who. Yeah. It, it, it's, there's so and many with, factors, so yeah. And with something like this, how much can you really, like, give with the, the like, local lack of data? Yeah, exactly. Because some people have, like, what did we do go over number deals before? 24 sets. Nick doesn't yeah. have more than five sets with anyone in region. I think that's what so. hurt him from being a little bit higher. For sure, but regardless, he did still like a great job. And it's really I love, well. Yeah. I love this graphic so oh. much. <laughs> oh wow, Falcon was kind of hard to draw. It was like there were so many poses I could do. There was th this one. He's a very arrogant man. He's, yeah, he's always he's always stuck. He's always posing. That that um, what's it called? I I believe it was Dill. Dill was like, you need to make Nixie look more smug. Like that's a very very. Nick likes it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, Nick, Nick is always like. Very, I wouldn't say cocky, but like he's always very smug. He, there's like a joke <laughs> that he's in on where nobody else knows like, it, but he's still laughing. Yeah, at he's it, always like, like, yeah, I know what's good, but you don't know. He's just always like, man, a few words, but like the ones that do come out, like the make aura, me crack the aura. Yeah, it's please very, understand. <laughs> And uh, a quick shout out to Pro Tom for <laughs> making the cancel bars pin, or at least like giving the idea of it. I love, yeah, bars is canceled, bro. It, it's, yeah, that's number six. Now we're breaking into where it really gets tough here at uh, top five, which you got, you know, the round yellow beast himself. And Mr. Game & Watch. Mr. Hey, and Mr. Yeah, Mr. Game Tinji Watch. breaking out the Game & Watch so. for the very first time uh, this season. And he did really well dropping two spots. While not like a crazy drop, like his wins, like he racked it up. He got wins on Captain Zack, Goblin, Captain L, Laid, three on Ling Ling, a win on Sunito, Best Ness, eight Bitman, Javi, Benny and the Jets, and he also went to a tournament in Jamaica where he got went on O'Care, Cyan, and Apex, who make up top five of the uh, Jamaica PR. And his in-region has also been like pretty bombastic as well. Uh, you want to go over those? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so in Tri-State, he's got from not New York, he's got Jackal, Juice, Our Hungry, Maverick Hunter times three, two unknown wins, two Ram wins, and JM13. I'm assuming those are from the like York, DNA and Forge. The, yeah. Probably I don't know where the JM13 because he's a Philly he's player. He's a Philly player, yeah. So Philly Palutena, I think he's like top tenish there. I think he's like seventh or eighth. I'm not sure. And this then kind of slept also. What yeah, is this, is this what from is a Pac-Man game? 
Yeah, and, all the song picks, they've all been really And in solid. New York, the one thing that really hurts him is he's another one like where he's dominant against everyone, but really that like top, yeah, top, top level. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't like, get so sets. Like doesn't get sets against yeah. people like Jen or Venia, and that's when it comes down to like you're also comparing to, like with the few spots left. Those are his direct competition. Not being able to beat them really does just hurt you. Yeah. So like. Like, he dominated everyone, like, below him. Like, he did, except for, like, Jewel and Ray. Like, he he had positive records on pretty much everyone else. It's just that little upper echelon. He he also didn't really travel as much this season, I'm assuming, because school started up? Or just, like, yeah, I he think kept mostly local for the summer of Smash? Canvas. He hasn't been traveling as much, I think. I haven't even really seen him around. Yeah. So. Yeah, going into number five. Yeah. There you go. Going into the graphic, I guess. Oh, Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man looks... So confused why a poster <laughs> of Sinji just popped up in his hand instead of like an apple or a key or something. Yeah, it's um, I feel like this was uh, self-explanatory. I'm like, okay, if there's gonna be a fan sign um, themed graphic with Pac-Man, it had to be this. Yeah, it had pose. to be. Yeah. It's a, it's a no-brainer, and he looks adorable. Oh, thank you, thank He's you. Very cute, like a little eyebrow arch. He's like, what the hell? Originally, what um, this, this yes, one the had buzz. We started the PR by saying a little the buzz. Um, <laughs> originally it uh. Well, what was I gonna say? Oh, originally it had Tim's, but it didn't make sense <laughs> in the official in like when you saw see it all next to each other. Yeah. Pac-Man bust image, Pac-Man lore. <laughs> yeah, there you go, number five, and now now we're going breaking into the top four, which is where it like gets really controversial and really really dicey. So I guess everyone strap in for uh, number four. I think this okay. is my favorite graphic. It we is. We got Mr. Venia. Mr. Venia himself. There's there's a lot to say about Venia this season, where he actually finally started traveling a little bit. Uh, I can already hear Wes screaming from the ether. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he got out of region wins on Tamim, Venom, Daybreak, and Duwang, but that's not really what I want to talk about. I want to talk about how clean this in region is, Morty. Okay, so there is a singular one person who Venia is a negative on in region, and that person is the Buzz, and it's only a 1-2, so he still took a set. In a win. A legitimate, honest to God so win Venia on the Buzz. So Venia in region is absolutely the monster to beat, is basically up on everyone, and these set counts are large too because he's a Xeno mainstay. He just, this is basically the best you can push without really going out of region yeah. at all. Like and it's it's ridiculous because like Dilt color codes all the head to head records. Veni like green is to represent a positive record. Venia is all green from like pretty much the buzz on. Like he is super positive. I've never really seen a more dominant player in state. I think out of region is what tends to hurt him a bunch, and you're gonna see that with the the next few PR spots that are coming up. But yeah, I I want to talk about this graphic because oh. you said it was your favorite one. Yeah, I, this is my personal favorite. I re well, obviously the snake tattoo, which is like iconic to um, Venya. Yeah, he's got a tattoo of that. The little Vega tattoo. Yeah, and um, I drew Venya a couple months back. Venya oh, was okay. actually like one of the first people I drew and got me interest, got me like into the Smash community. So this one holds a little special place Aww, in my heart. <laughs> yeah, I also I've heard from many that drawing Greninja is. Oh. Incredibly difficult. Oh, so just all the Pokemon look hard. Yeah, but him—he looks like he was made out of origami. Like all those like weird <laughs> shapes and stuff. Like, oh my god, <laughs> he's yeah. holding it with his tongue too. Which is I really was funny. <laughs> when I had, knew I had to draw Greninja, I was like, great, it's another I, Pokemon I, I have, have to send draw. It. <laughs> I gotta figure it out. <laughs> I drew all the Pokemon at the very end. Then yeah, I mean. All the Pokemons and Yoshis. I was like, okay, let me just get over <laughs> all the get human these. people first. <laughs> I think a tattoo is the sickest. Yeah. I, I didn't know that the tattoo was actually like a Vega tattoo. Yeah, I just assumed he got a snake at yeah, one point. Yeah, I, I had like, no right, idea. He's got a snake. <laughs> it looks cool. All right, there you go. There. Yeah, so I'm breaking it to the top three. And now we're going to explain pretty much why these next few players are above uh, Venia. Got the, the main man himself. Demise Mr. E coming through with the the solo Lucina all season where he racked up a pretty great resume of wins on Pupe, Elegant, Pandarian, three on Best Nest, two in Sunito, Charlie the King, Ling Ling, 8-Bitman, Lima, Burnt Socks, Kiwi, Varun, and Biggie Mouth, who is number one in Oregon, uh, for those of you who didn't know. Eric traveled like 
a lot. Like always a fiend. He's he's a fiend, bro. He went always. Pretty much any any tournament that was happening, he did attend it, whether it be in region or out of region. Like yeah, and I mean the hard work pays off. Like yeah, he's top sure. three on the PR. He's always got the drive. So and even in Jersey, he's got wins on basically a majority of the New Jersey PR. It looks like the only ones he's missing are Rivers, Rivers, and like Tweak and Nairo. And wishes. And oh, he doesn't have a Justin. Yeah. Wins. Yeah. So he's basically got like basically him just going somewhere. He he just beats everyone like. Leon, Gons, Jackal, Juice, Dark Matter, Six. He has all of these like upper level tri state wins that you wouldn't get going to Zeno. And even at Zeno, he's as dominant. Now, Venny is probably the, he's the king of Zeno yeah. looking at the graphics. But the next few people still have dominant records on basically everyone except themselves and Venia. Mm -hmm. And this is where those out of region really like just starts to kick in. Yeah, for sure. I, I, the, I guess the main reason like, it's always a debate whether a strong in region beats a lot of out of region. When the out of region wins are so overwhelming, it can get really close, and that's where like the panel tends to divide in terms of their vote, I guess. But like, personally, I favor a very strong out of region, and Mr. E definitely more than made up for it. I think if Venya snagged like a few more really high profile wins on the PGR, like he definitely would have beaten Eric. But my man, like, gave himself the most opportunity to travel and rack up a ton of great wins. And he secured them, like, really nicely. The only people that he literally hasn't beaten are people that are above him, yeah. basically. And Venya. And <laughs> the king. Yeah, there you go. And uh, I I'm noticing a theme here where you're just, like, drawing Fire Emblem characters to be extremely adorable. I, Fire Emblem's my favorite. Adorable. My bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Um, I actually got this pose inspiration from Dara, who said you should try doing Lucina up smash, and I'm like, okay, oh, I'll do that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So oh, I thought it was the taunt, but it's like the same animation, oh, yeah, that's right? right? She sticks her hand thing. up. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. What does she say during that one? Did she say anything? Or? Ha. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a ha, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, also, um, great song. Choice, by the way, March to Deliverance, good, yeah. Shadows of Valencia, top top tier. Devin's killing it. D D DJ Devin, DJ 3000. Shout out to Pro Tom for putting together this Professional playlist. Thomas, thank you. Pro yeah, Tomothy. You and noticing that that uh, Eric only dropped really one spot on the PR, like he's been a pillar of consistency as far as NYPRs have gone uh, thus far. Yeah, moving on to the last uh, reveal that we have because <laughs> we started Number off with number one. Two. And, and it, wouldn't, Jen. it wouldn't be right if it wasn't Alan in this spot. Breaking out Fox once again for this season. I'm so excited like, for this it. Is, this is where the, uh, the the Alan Fox. Yeah. He plays your color, too. I know. It's it's the New York color. Because I took it when Sage quit. <laughs> He's got the tins, so, bro. It's the yellow fox. It's iconic <laughs> to New York. And Jen's out of like state has been incredible. Just to list off some of, I guess, all of these wins. He's got Light, Salem, Goblin, Laid, Black Twins, Mewtwo King, Supergirl Cows, Smock, Sandstorm, F-Sharp, Venom, Excal, Seagull Joe, Daybreak, Doom, Sova Unknown, Full Stream, Wed, Flagtail, Bread, and Young Eevee, who's like the best Bowser Jr. in the world. He's like ranked 18th in the Netherlands, Junior. I think. Yeah. So yeah, and his in-state was also like nothing to sneeze at either. Like it was pretty, pretty God damn good if I if I, I do mean, say it's, so it's, it's it's that same thing. Once you're at this level, you basically are only losing to like the toppest level. Like his really only bad records are versus the Buzz, Venia, which isn't even that bad compared to most. Like it's five nine, and that's pretty impressive versus Venia, given how bad some of the really large data yeah, samples seriously. get. So, and then it's like, oh, he lost. One set to Suarez, but it's zero one. But then you're going down the list, and it's it's just number versus zero, where Allen just doesn't even give them the chance to take the set. Yeah, seriously, so. like he he has been super duper consistent. Like he, if there was a Prince of Zeno behind the King of Zeno, it probably I'd, I'd say it'd probably be yeah, Allen. Yeah, it's honestly. like it's those three. It's really two to four. Like those are the people who's winning Zeno today, and you usually just say it's one of those three. And not not so. to say that that like Long Island tournaments or AR don't count at all. They do. It's just that the the better players tend to go to Zeno more than they do to Yeah, it's Aeon. like you have to wait it because like half the PR can be in Zeno on yeah, a given literally. day. That's how the first one that's was. That's what matters. The, the first one had a very good representation of uh, Long Island and City And I think Long Island's fun in work. I think Long Island yeah. had a lot of like close people this time around, too. Yeah, they too, did for sure. So. There was a lot of candidates out there. Um, 
So yeah, going to the graphic, very cute. Uh, Palutena showing what spot on the PR she's gunning for. Um, that's right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I actually had a drawing of Jen in my um, folders for a while when I used to do a lot of character, I mean, player drawings, but I never got around to actually finishing it or completing it in general. So I was like, okay, let me just take this doodle of Jen and like implement it here. So that's what it is. He looks very chill. Like I, I feel like that's a good default for Alan because Alan's very like. Alan's always pretty last. He's pretty yeah. reserved. Like he's he's like there was like a someone made a poll on Twitter of like who's the most chill person in all of Tri-State and there was like Riz and uh, there's like Riz, someone from Philly, and then Alan for like the New I York rep of like Riz. chill. Yeah, there you go. So there we go. That is the, I believe, entirety of the NYPR. I guess to quickly go over, I mean, you can all see it on the bottom there. Um, you know, it's constantly scrolling there. But yeah, thank you guys uh, for being patient with us while trying to get the PR out once again. It's a lot of hard work. There are a lot of steps to go through to get the... It's there's tough. A whole I didn't think right it was going to yeah. be as much work when Don't I first started doing it. Yeah, it's, it's like I, I've spent like... put it Combined work for this PR, I'd say, has been like upwards of maybe like... 20 to 30 hours overall of just yeah, you're the champ. Down. You're the hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the I, PR. I, I I gotta delegate a little bit more probably, but like everyone like on this panel really did a great job of helping out. Like just a buzz showing up for like the discussion. Yeah, same I with think this Sinji. is the smoothest we've had the process. It's, go it's in been a long good. Time. Everyone was like so. really great this season. So thank you so much to, to you especially. Thank you to you also oh, for you. like yeah, everyone with worked every... together. <laughs> everyone was like no problems. Things just got done. And, and Sherry, it feels great whenever that happens. Sherry went with every demand that we had literally like all right can we change this can you change this yeah. can you do that like she made it perfect so like shout out to sherry really thank, thank you. you thank you thank so you. much thank like you that so was much for having that me that was pogs dude is lit so yeah like thank you to everyone for being patient and thank you I, if you guys did enjoy this format of revealing the pr we would i believe be totally down to do it once again i know devin had a blast putting this all together yeah this was yeah, a this lot was of fun. fun this is fun this I is like it. hyper last minute it was yeah like, we planned this last night yeah, yeah. Well, well, it, was it, was like, it was like it's we're gonna if we reveal it it's gonna be today mm -hmm. and it's like we, yeah. if we're gonna it reveal to it today. on saturday yeah. while xeno is going on we yeah. might as well just do it at xeno so i think so. i think for like future ones we should do it at like whatever saga is happening if it's early enough in the month like we're we're gonna adapt to whatever timing i guess gives us because I, I know xeno saga is planned on like days where nothing else big is like super happening or at least there's an attempt to mm -hmm. um if anything we can always just like schedule get togethers to make it work yeah yeah there you go. So thank you so much to everybody for uh, being here, coming for the live reveal. I hope everybody in chat who did make the PR and everybody here at Xeno who did make the PR, shout out to Laugh back there doing whatever, dancing. Yeah, um, that um, number 15 celebration. Number for, 15, baby. <laughs> for anyone who has, still has like any like uh, outline questions, do you guys want to do like a quick Q&A? Q &A, yeah. Okay. So sure. yeah, type your questions in the chat. We'll do a Q&A for about like five, Time ten minutes. It. We got I didn't pay Dill yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm in the bracket, so I'm good. Yeah, I pre I pre read, yeah. but I didn't pay them yet. So I And then even that. if your question doesn't get answered here, you can uh, ask them in the comments on the YouTube chat <laughs> on the YouTube video don't where this gets uploaded. Or on uh, Please don't copy on right Twitter sure, when it gets posted. But Nintendo, yeah. leave us alone. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, put in the chat right now and uh how you all try doing? to answer it. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm chilling. Like I'm happy to be here. It's you know I'm I'm the biggest W for me today was making it here on time. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> oh okay, my God. so I had to Holy stop hell. driving to get the bus because there was no parking spots within like half a mile of a ferry. I was it's so lucky that I was here, like not at just getting here now. What happened to Zaxel and Zero to None? So Zaxel and Zero to None had good wins. They were both potential candidates to make the PR. What hurt Zaxel and Zero to None were for, for Zaxel was the lack of out of region and also in region wins. For Zero to None, I know a lot of people were gunning for him to make it, but his in region just like his in region wasn't enough to like like you have people like Venia who have like such wow. a solid in region that you can't contest it. Zero to None had really good wins. Like I believe his yeah. biggest thing was his uh, positive record on. Uh, Mr. E. Other than that, though, I, his like in region wasn't strong enough to carry him onto the PR. So I'd say travel more and stop losing. <laughs> oh my God, it's Venya. <laughs> it's number four himself. Hey, Kofi. Thank you so much, Kofi. Thank you. Hey. Appreciate oh, it, thank dude. Thank you. So yeah. Anything you want to add to that, Morty? Uh, That's excellent, dude. Enough. I, any, was, any I was getting feelings? asked if I was I was getting asked if I was teaming with David. So was <laughs> I got you, Isaiah. 
I got you, Isaiah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Who Put are all the people the curious? Team, I know ZTM was one of the big ones. Who else, like, barely didn't make the cut? Uh, Frozen. Didn't, Frozen, Frozen didn't. Frozen didn't. I think Frozen was, like, the biggest, at least to you, I'm, was I'm the I'm biggest hurt. one. <laughs> it, dude, it's the lack of, like, attendance. Like, he didn't go to that much. And the ones he did a couple of times, it just wasn't, like, the hottest. Yeah. I know Smash Connie had a pretty rough time. So, it, it's just, like, with this, when the competition is so high, like, we obviously know how good Jake is as a player, yeah, like, yeah, how good Frozen for is. For sure, absolutely. But He's PGR for a reason. Yeah, like, some of the records what? just aren't that good in region. He didn't go to that many Xenos either. I know Staten Island, like, was like, it's Wednesday. Yeah. Do we go? And then we <laughs> didn't go. So, it just, it happens. When you have the lack of attendance and you don't have, like, that great season, really, or, like, you're not, like, you know, it's kind of like a dip and you're also not really pushing right. as hard, and it just hurts you more than you think when the region is this competitive. It, it's crazy. Also, I think someone asked this question for you. Yeah, um, I'm doing doubles. I'm teaming up with the the amazing, the awesome <laughs> Extra O. Extra O, okay. That's my you boy. Play, you play Robin, right? Yeah. Okay. What's the full PR? You can see it on the bottom right here as it's scrolling scrolls. by. There's the whole thing. Yeah, there you go. Um, where's your Woody hat? It's on the official image. If uh, Devin wants to flash that up real quick. Oh yeah, there it it's is. It's right there, Reggie. Like, Please don't your eyes. It. It's always on every PR. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's a whole image right there. It's full glory. Very clean. Very clean layout too. I love the little, oh. the little simplistic color layout. Yeah, I love the Thank simplistic you. PR. I vibe with it. It's sick. Where's the yeah. chat, Devin? Where'd the chat go? We um, can't answer. It's just questions. refreshed. Just no, no chat. Oh, okay, yeah. There it is. Yeah, it's there. Chat takes five ever to load. Twitter, two, no way. <laughs> How important were out of region results compared to in region? I'd say it depends. It's, typically, it's usually case by case. It's yeah. pretty tough. Honorable mentions? I mean, we have none. Let's we, be we honest. Don't do the HMs are eleven we're talking about that are like, honest. The people we're talking quiet, about that barely quiet, didn't make it. That's basically <laughs> the HMs. But we don't put them on the PR. Sometimes, sometimes players will be carried by out of region wins over their. Somewhat lackluster. Well, sometimes you have to account for that. I know it was a big deal when Anti and Smash 4 with Anti because Anti wouldn't really come to events. But you look at the outer region win and it's like you could tell Anti's like doing yeah, he's better. Doing work. He's, like, he's, he's doing, doing work. Like he's doing work. He's doing things. He doesn't go and to he's anything getting wins in New York. that if a lot of people on like the lower end of the PR and whatever went to those events wouldn't get the same quality of wins. Right. And it's hard to factor that in. It's been easier because everyone actually competes locally now. It's yeah. Great. And then so we it's have a little like bit the easier. There's a little bit of controversy probably that'll arise as well because DeBuzz recently moved to New Jersey and he competed in New York, uh, New York for the majority of this season. I'm uh, counting him as New York in the yeah, same absolutely. case as like we Adi. count Adi yeah, as New York yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, yeah. Hobo yeah, Hoboken. Is is saying, yeah, yeah, saying it's easier to get to <laughs> Hoboken from here than it is to get to Staten Island. That makes so sense. Yeah. It's pretty New York. And Long Island, so yeah, uh, I, it counts. Met, uh, Zone on Twitter uh, did a very nice graphic of what Tri-State is considered to be. It's just like a big red yeah, circle, circle yeah. centered on New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Does anybody else have any questions? Press it. Or, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Anybody have any questions? Oh, or like okay. any questions? I know there are. There's also a Japanese player. <laughs> There's also yeah, Japanese today. Mono's here today, I think. Oh, Mono is That's my boy. Here. He's playing he's playing dubs today. Yeah, with so. Zane. It's gonna that that team that terrifies me. That team terrifies me. High key. Mono is high. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh so Devuz continues to play in New York a lot. Will he continue to be in the New York PR? Yes. Well he's coming to Zeno and I if like if Zeno's your local, I think you count like you qualify as New York. Jersey's gonna try and claim him. I guarantee it. But he's the buzz. He's he's the actual king of New yeah, York. Yeah, absolutely. The buzz stay in New York City, please. The goat. Yeah, please, we need you. <laughs> we got frozen. I think it will be our last PGR player if he leaves. And and, and Alan, if you count Area 51. Um, nah, but Alan's as good as PGR players. Suarez so. is PGR too. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> People just have those, you know. All right. Buzz always loses on Wednesday. Why is he first? I don't know, man. Club. Oh, come on. Didn't he get yes. third like one Six week? He's never yeah. won Zeno ever. He got third last week, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, really? He got double eliminated by Mr. E. Let's oh, go, Eric. Eric. Eric popped off. Oh, my God. Eric yeah. popped off, bro. You can see it right there. Eric popped off. I can I can pull it up if you want. He went in. Pull it up. Sure. It's like not, not even relevant. <laughs> it's not even him beating Look the at buzz. that. He's, yes, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> He's like, let's go. 
All right. Uh, with that, thank you all for tuning in. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Thank you once again for everything. Thank you for being patient. Thank you to Sherry yeah, for thank these. You. These are amazing. I love this one. That one's awesome. This one's awesome. This is not even Smash related. I just <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> that's it's Evangelion. They're, they're in Smash. It works out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's uh, that's Blue Robin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> What I'm gonna make a me of it later. Yeah. Follow, follow <laughs> Sherry on Twitter, please, for more like amazing art, sick oh, fan you. signs, and all this other cool stuff. Like she's a very talented, up and coming ah. artist in the Smash scene, and like, like we really wouldn't have been able to do this PR without her. So thank, thank you thank once you. again. Oh, thank like, you, thank you, thank you. It's an like, honor. It's an honor. Sick. I, I will continue to work hard on the New York PR to make sure it gets out in timely mat fashion. We will beat New Jersey one day. One day we were so it, close. Uh, we were one day. No, we, we were so close. We had the data done before we had then. It. We were. We done. had the data done. Before That's confirmed. Then. Yes, I 100% okay. know this for All a right. fact. RJ can confirm. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got the data done, and we could have released this yesterday yeah. before right. them, yeah. but we wanted to put on we a wanted, show. Yeah, we wanted to do good. We wanted to put on a show. That's right. We wanted, oh. we wanted to steal Jersey's format. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was convenient, right? So. Yeah, and I think people are happier when it's like we go in depth anyway. Like yeah, absolutely. The I feel like there's a lot of like I feel like to me as like a member of the PR panel, I feel like transparency is like the most important thing. Like, I, I hate it when people don't answer. Like, why is this person this high? Yeah, like, like, I'll answer you. Even guys. like semi regularly like, when the PR comes out, like people will ask you questions yeah, if they know sure. you're on the panel. Yeah. So like this just alleviates that and it lets people like know earlier why. X is above Y or whatever. Right. I appreciate all the questions as well. Like, I appreciate you guys, like, being genuinely interested in, like, how this is all conducted and stuff going, oh, this guy's not that high, lol. Oh, this PR sucks. Like, that. thank you to the people out there who actually take the time to, like, ask, like, real questions. Like, we appreciate you guys. Anyway, with that, uh, I'm going to go warm up for yeah, doubles. I'm going to, I don't so. even think I'm, oh, I am playing I doubles love my now. Who are you teaming with? I'm oh teaming with David. That's oh. my brother. I didn't even I know it was coming like, today. I haven't seen David in months. I'm really excited to play. Can you get Dabit on stream? Norman, can I borrow your uh, controller, you guys please? Play on stream, maybe. I left anyway, the house okay. way too fast. We'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye. <laughs>